What's up everyone? We're at the largest RV show in America here. We're gonna show you some of the new A-liner pop-up camper trailers. Uh, this one's a little more off-road, overlandy. These ones are a little more mild versions, but I lived full-time in the A-liner when I first got my Gladiator for about three months. I love the hard side pop-up design of these. Uh, some of them have extra little pop-outs, some of them don't like this one in front. How's it going? Good. And uh, everyone's real friendly here. <laughs> we'll compare all the different models that A-Liner is currently offering. And if you're considering buying one of these, you gotta watch till the end of the video. I'll share with you some very important information on the frame and what might need to be reinforced if you plan to off-road this trailer. But yeah, let's dive in and show you some of these A-Liners today. Hey. My name's Phil. And I've been living in a 4x4 truck camper for the last five years while making videos of other quality off-road campers that I think are down to mob. So this is the most like my A-liner that I lived in for a while. It's got the stabilizers on all four corners, which are awesome. I love the big windows that you get with the A-liner, as well as the bubble windows all the way around. You're getting light on the way in. Nice spare tire up front. Uh, how's it going? Fine. Good. Right. A-liner Scout Light. Uh, so down in 30 seconds. Nice. So this is like the smallest one, like it's most the compact. Smallest one, is correct. It's the lightest one, and it is the smallest one right now. You know, draw weight. We are 1275, so we're just under 1300 pounds, 140 pound tongue weight. Nice. Yeah, I like small and lightweight. That's kind of my that's, style. That's so. this one. Awesome. You separate everything. You just jump in. Just simple. You pull these latches. Just mm -hmm. release those. We got four of them. This one will come down. Mm -hmm. Release this final one. Come a little Now pull the Down. Roof comes down just like that. Nice. Yeah, it's flat. Couple clips. Awesome. It's ready to go. Grip this thing around God's creation. Very simple. I love it. All right, yeah, man. and this one is thirteen nine. Yeah, said? we got a show price. Very nice. That's a great price. Thirteen nine nine nine. Ready to go. Very cool. But this all is right. the base model. Wait till you guys see all the other models. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't too bad. Right, <laughs> dude. So yeah, I lived in my a liner. A liner was just like this with three burners right here. And uh, I would just get a, like an induction yeah. top, put mm -hmm. it right there. You saw that video, right? The video in the winter with Dude, the A-liner? Yes. See, I didn't yeah. see that one yet. It had such I a will. cozy vibe. <laughs> I will tonight. Yeah, and you can too in the link below. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Well, we're winter camping in the A-liner. Um, we're actually in Nevada, but we're getting a good amount of snow out there. We got the heater on. Coda and I are all snuggled up. So, yeah, I had a blast living out of my A-liner. If you haven't seen that video or videos from it, I'll link some below in this little A-liner walkthrough. If you are inspired by my content and you want to get exclusive content as well as access to my private camp spot maps and opportunities to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash down to mob. They just added a new feature. You can actually join for free. As a down to mob Patreon supporter, you'll get exclusive merchandise sent to you that only patrons get and let's go take a look at some of the more off-road model a-liners yeah and then the the off-road models like yeah so one down goes all the way up just yeah um actually it's just an off-road package so it's got a little bit um, a little bit more aggressive tires uh -huh. as well as some different graphics and a little more ground clearance as well nice and then these little pop-outs those look simple just those latches yep. and struts yep that's it you fold them down first, so that you know, might add about 40 seconds or so more to the setup time. Yeah, not much at all. And then you get a lot more space. It's like a totally different vibe with those, huh? It does give you a little bit more room inside. Yeah. Yep. And honestly, I love, like, look at that. Look how high up that uh, slide is. Let's go in and take a look at this guy. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like, I like these with the pop-outs a lot. So I remember when I was living full-time in my A-liner, um, when you'd sleep two people in it, you know, you'd, the person that was over here would be really crunched against the wall. Not anymore, now they're on, in their own little pop-out with this. And then, same thing when you're sitting in the dinette, you know, you'd sit down and your head would be 
right next to the wall right here. A little bit more open. So yeah, you were just in that last bed. No, and this is way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. And then this sitting in the dinette, you can be like way deep in there. This more like wood kind of standard camper stuff. The top of the line one is made with, I believe some sort of like starboard, high density polyethylene plastic type stuff. This is your more traditional like, um, look at that microwave right here and fridge right here. Huh, I would have put the fridge here, or preferred the fridge there, but um, hey, at least you could pop in and microwave a hot pocket without getting in the camper. Looks like a heater down here, sink here, um, no burners. I don't, I don't know why they don't have any burners in here. Um, so I'd like a little different layout. Let's go check out the A-Liner Evolution here. This is like the top model. So we looked at your base model first and that's about 13, 14,000. This one here is 32,000. So let's go see some differences. Dry weight, 2,000 pounds. That's really not bad. Almost anything can tell Yeah. So the price is not much different, but this is what I'm talking about. This oh, is your more. This is, this is better. I like the sink better. This is like, like starboard, yes. like yes. high density plastic of some sort. This would definitely stand up way better to the test of like, just being off grid with it. Yeah, and you got all these like CNC cut, you know, little things with designs. It just feels a lot more quality. This is marine decking, a lot like my yeah, camper. I like, I like this material yeah. way better. Yeah, absolutely. It does have the nice Dometic uh, glass flush top sink. So that's a really, really nice sink unit. And then with the flush top, that's nice countertop space still. Um, but yeah, I dig it. Looks like there's a lot less wood in these and this is more of a composite. And then like aluminum, this is nice. So I think the main difference in build is actually the quality of materials. This is a lot more like an overland off-road quality build. Uh, it seems like this would last and, and hold up a lot more. Now this one is even more. This one's even bigger. And this one's pushing 50 grand, 46.9. So, wow. I really, to be honest with you, I don't understand the drastic variation in prices. One's 14 and this one's almost 50. Um, obviously you get more pop-outs with it and then i think just like the quality of the build is, is quite a bit different um and also the space this is the the biggest one it looks like so yeah pretty neat let's go check out this one here the 15. oh yeah this is a lot bigger oh wow oh wow okay i see why these are more um I like, th this is my favorite one so far. So it's got Dometic two burner flush top with the sink flush top. So you can hold both, put both of those down. You got nice countertop space. This uh, pulls into a bed obviously, but really nice sitting area. Look at that toilet. <laughs> with the green lights, I like that a lot. Thetford. Oh, and look at this, so it looks like the toilet can be covered. So if you just unlatch this, then the toilet cover comes down. So look at that. You don't have to look at your toilet the whole time. But no, you said you need a shower. I do need a shower. And that's why the A-liner wouldn't work, but <laughs> you haven't seen the one with the shower yet. It it's this one here, check it out. Check it out. 46,999. Oh, this is why this is more. It's got an EcoFlow power hub. Look at that. That's some fancy stuff, EcoFlow. I didn't even know you guys were doing that. Um, yeah, wow. Gee, that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, you got the nice sitting area over here. Instead of the propane burners, you got an induction burner. So that makes sense with the EcoFlow system. You can run that stuff some more. Oh, the shower's right here. I didn't even see it. Yeah. Oh, that is slick. 
I don't mind if I do. Right? <laughs> okay, that's all right. Put the little curtain around. Listen, you can put your hands above your head and you, you've got plenty of room. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the size is my issue. This dinette is huge. Like I said, I really, a big priority of mine, other than having a nice bed, is being able to invite people inside to hang out. And this is a great hangout area. But check this out. This is a shower base in here. to shower you can run a shower up to here and then yeah the curtain will go around right here so being able to shower in the unit this is a very full-time livable a-liner um i like this a lot to be honest with you i would love living out of this and it's very light uh it would tow really well <laughs> this would be cool <laughs> That actually would make a huge shower compared to most RVs. And if you want it even bigger, you could make that bigger. And I don't know, I like it. Okay. Is oh, that what do you think of that? Oh no, I, <laughs> I dropped that. I just wanted to show how this floor can go down. I mean, this might be a little awkward. If and that, that can be super floor. neat. Yeah. This might be awkward if you have company. <laughs> yeah, you're like uh, taking a shower. Unless they know me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's more of a private thing. But yeah, the shower. Yeah, you can, you can up, scramble your boom. eggs. And, you can scramble your eggs and go to the bathroom at the same time. Ready to roll. Some pretty nice lights as well. Turn on and off right there. Oh yeah, just like with a quick touch. You don't even have to press a button. That's fancy. Yeah, this is a legit build. You got your Dometic fridge right there. And then looks like storage or maybe, oh yeah, storage and access to the outside. I like that. Interior and out to and exterior storage. Definitely a game changer. You got that on both sides. And then again, you guys, the quality of this build, this isn't wood. This is some sort of composite, flexible, lightweight plastic. I like the feel of this a lot. It almost feels like starboard material, um, which is really quality stuff, but it's really heavy. This does not feel heavy. Um, I like the quality of this build a lot. It feels really, really solid. And then you got your suburban heater there and air conditioner as well, right? Yeah, there's an AC. Yeah, there's cold air coming out of right there. I don't know where the air conditioner is, but it doesn't look like it's on the roof, which is awesome. Um, air conditioners can be heavy, so having that weight down low, center of gravity when you're off-roading, everything plays in to how this thing handles while towing. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, I have some top secret information I need to share with you. If you're considering buying an A-liner camper trailer and also taking it to some pretty hard off-road scenarios. I mean, I didn't drive mine that hard. Just kidding, I romped it pretty good and I ended up bending the tongue of the trailer as well as cracking the brackets that hold the wheels on. So check the description in this video for how I fix that. If you found this video valuable and you like my content and you wanna get more content as well as exclusive merchandise, access to my private camp spot map, and again, chances to connect one-on-one -on -one with me, check out patreon.com slash down to mop. Well, thank you guys for watching my video about the new A-Liner A-Frame camper trailers. I really like these. Comment, let me know what you think. Which A-liner trailer would you pick? Would you want to just travel on the weekends or would you actually want to live full time in one of these? I'm curious to know. So let me know down in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any other videos from the largest RV show in America and me living full time on the road. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. The only question is, are you down to mine?